This is FP3, June 2012, question 3. Now, question 3 is a differential equation question. It's dy dx plus y cos x equals 2x. So, FP3, question 3, June 12. Now, differential equation we have to solve is dy dx plus y cot x equals 2x. Now this differential equation is in standard linear form, dy dx, y times some function of x equals some other function of x. So we're going to use an integrating factor to solve it. Now my p of x in this situation is cot x, so my integrating factor is going to equal e to the integral cot x dx. Now if you look up in the green book, uh, the integral of cot x is ln sin x, so that's e ln sine x, and we see immediately why they pick this. A lot of these questions are relatively contrived, and that integral of cot giving me the integral of giving me ln sine x e to a natural log is just sine x there. So what I'm now allowed to write is that d dx of y sine x equals 2x sine x, and that's by the miracle of e enabling an integrating factor to just uh, turn a relatively complex differential equation into the derivative of a product here, and which is going to be relatively easy to solve. And I'll integrate both sides of this, and integrate the left-hand side, I get y sine x equals integral of the right-hand side, 2x sine x dx. Don't forget those dx's. So I'm asking today where there's actually a mark for putting the right dx in there, that's dt at the time. Now, um, that's okay with the left hand side, that's done. This right hand side, this is a product, so we're going to integrate this by parts. So my y sine x is going to equal, now by parts, uh, my u here is going to be the 2x, and then du is going to be 2 and my dv dx is going to be sine x, and so my v is going to be minus cos x. So, take the product of those two, it's going to be minus 2x cos x minus the integral, being very careful, of 2 times minus cos x is minus 2 cos x dx, being very careful about handling that double negative there. So, that's equal to minus 2x cos x, but the integral of minus 2 cos x, integral of minus, the integral of cos is sine, so integral of minus cos is going to be minus sine. So I'm going to end up with plus, from the double negative, 2 sine x plus our arbitrary constant c, which I can then add. Now at this point, that's the general solution, but they gave us some specific information. They said that uh, y equals 2 when x equals pi by 6. So I thought y equals 2 when x equals pi by 6. And I'm going to use that information to find uh, c. And I'm noting at this point that they want the answer in form y equals function of x. So ultimately I'll have to divide through by my sine x. Now, if y is 2, x is pi by 6, I've got on the left hand side 2 times, well sine pi by 6 uh, is a half, so 2 times a half is equal to now minus 2x here is going to be minus 2 pi by 6, cos pi by 6, I'll put that in at the moment so I know where it went, but we'll simplify that in a minute, plus to sine pi by 6 plus c. Now that's going to be 1 equals now cos pi by 6 is root 3 over 2. So that's minus 2 root 3 pi, so root 3 over 2 all over 12. And then plus sine pi by 6 is a half, so 2 times a half is 1 plus c. Now this is going to cancel out quite a lot, so 1 equal, I'll cancel that with minus root 3 over 6 pi plus 
plus one plus C. Cancel those ones and take that to the left hand side and turn the full round and I've got C equals root three over six pi. Now, final step then is to write out my particular integral here. So I'm going to end up with uh, y sine x then is equal to uh, 2 sine x minus 2x cos x plus root 3 over 6 pi. Divide through by sine x, I get y equals 2, so that cancels. Cos x over sine x is cot x, so minus 2 x cot x plus pi by 6 root 3 and that is the answer to question 3